what's up YouTube you checking out the frequent flyer if you're returning thanks for checking back in today I just want to talk about my experience with this guy as you can see it's pretty dirty dusty and all too I've been getting down with this a lot at the field flying with it and I actually preferred this one over the dark max from furry B I really like to freestyle with the B fight from Aurora RC but this Ferry B X215 it seems like a better freestyle quad and it seems like it's a little faster I think that might be due to the weight because it's easier to go faster with this for me I think it's because of the weight it seems like it goes faster in forward flight the punch out on this quad seems like it's close to the Ferry B Dark Max but maybe a little better and I think that's because of these motors here. These are pretty powerful motors. I think the B-Fight has 2205 motors, whereas this one has 2206, so a little more wider. And the B-Fight is 2300 kV on the motors, whereas this one is 2600 kV, and that's even higher than the Furry B Dark Max. I think the Furry B Dark Max has 2205 motors, a little smaller than these 2206s, and the Ferry B Dark Max has a KV of 2550. So this one slightly higher, but the Ferry B Dark Max is capable of taking a 5 and 6S. And I was saying that this one takes a 5 or 6S as well, and people were disagreeing. They were saying that all the components here are 6S capable, but not the motors. So I did my little research and it seems like I was right. Well, partially right. Anyhow, these motors here, when I looked them up, they're actually 5S capable, but I see no problem with going to 6S, <laughs> but I'm not going to recommend that just because the motors are listed as 5S and not 6S. So this does take a 5S and from what I've seen, a 5S is all it really needs for me a 4s is all it really needs it seems like the benefits were minimal jumping from 5s to 6s but the jump from 4s to 5s is pretty substantial so i think 5s is probably the way to go if you want it to be more powerful than 4s but 6s i think is just overkill for these things but this is a 5s capable quad this has a flight controller in it from holy bro i think it's called the cook Kakute. I don't know what the heck it's called. I know I'm massacring that name, but anyhow, the flight controller has a floating gyro on it. And so that is supposed to make this thing fly really smooth and stable. And mine's does, but I think when things touch it, when things are touching on top of it between the flight controller and the VTX, that causes problems. I've heard of people having strong drifts to one side and all of that, but I didn't have any of those problems. But I think Ferry B has taken notice because they did switch the flight controller. I've seen in the specs now that GearBest has listed a description that has a different FC in it now. It has a Ferry B FC. So no more Kakute <laughs> or the thing from Holy Bro or the FC from Holy Bro. It's out the door now, and I feel privileged to have one that still has it in it that flies well. This thing flies really nice. I prefer this over the Dark Max, really, because I don't know. It seems like it's more control. It seems like it's more, it might be due to the weight, but I'm not sure. But it seems like this flies a little more stable, and I'm able to control it a little better. So a uh, really nice quad. It has all the bells and whistles that you need. This, this camera here, I think they're saying that this camera is a CCD camera, but it's not. This is another CMOS camera, but it's not the exact same one that's on the B-Fight. But it looks pretty similar when you're flying it. And the handling of changes in light conditions are the same with this CMOS camera as with the B-Fight. This camera here is the same with as the one that's inside the B fight but the reason why I say it's a little different is because the nose comes out a little more on the B fight than this one same controller in the back there as you can see there's a little joystick in the back there in the same spot and all so pretty much the same type of camera one last thing I didn't want to leave this part out 
people were having problems with the VTX having noise in the signal. Well, mines didn't have too much noise in the signal. Not that I noticed that made mines unflyable or anything, but it does seem a little grainy. But I've heard that the shielding is missing from the VTX and it looks like it is missing. And I saw that someone used a sheet of aluminum foil and some tape to protect it from shorting and they put it in between the flight controller and the VTX and that shielding seemed to have helped it um, get rid of the grain and all in the video. I haven't tried mines yet. I really don't fly it a lot anymore since I got so many models coming in for review. I really don't have leisure to fly this one as much as I want to but this is a really awesome copter. One of my favorites definitely. The Ferry B X 215 Pro. Thanks for watching.